Hello guys, and welcome to another lesson about Apache Camel. Today we're going to talk about communication between RabbitMQ and Camel RabbitMQ component. So uh, this is what we will try to achieve. We will have two routes in the Camel project, which will uh, one will produce message to the RabbitMQ to the exchange exactly. That exchange will pass it to the queue, and we will consume the uh, uh, that message from the exchange and the queue here. So yeah, it's pretty simple. It's pretty pretty straightforward. So let's start. Uh, but before we start, I would like to show you the RabbitMQ page here. You should add dependency before you even start here. You can look at the component URI. That should be. There are some. Uh, options here uh, they're pretty cool you can achieve almost anything you want with this component with, with this component so yeah just uh, just go to this page and look what do you need for your use case okay uh, we already installed RabbitMQ on our device so uh, this is how the dashboard looks like it's pretty nice as you can see uh, what we need for this particular case is exchange and queues. I already created some test exchange which is direct so the message will be directly going to the oh sorry for this this is some test BS uh, will go to the test queue okay so uh, okay uh, and the queue here has four messages so mm, we will delete that Okay, I clean the test queues here, so uh, the, we will receive message at the text exchange from the producer. Using this binding, it will go to the test queue, and after that, it will let me just purge. It will be consumed by the, by the camel route from here. So it's pretty straightforward. Okay, let's run the project. Uh, before we start, we add a dependency and create a connection factory to the to the uh, RabbitMQ. So we declared host, port, username and password. Do not use this username and password in production. These are just for the test here. And uh, try not to hardcore your username and your username and password into the project. Use Spring Cloud or um, pass it via docker variables or something just don't do this okay this is just for testing purposes consumer route uh, it's pretty simple it has uh, from rabbitmq test exchange and out delete false and declare is false root id is rabbitmq consumer and we will just log the body we receive from the queue uh, Producer is a little more complicated. It has timer to start every 100 seconds. Route, route ID uh, set some body, some dummy JSON, log body, actually this, and produce the RabbitMQ test exchange. Uh, Q test Q auto delete false and declare false and log message sent. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Let's run it. We should expect this message, this message, and then this one. Okay, we got some error. One eternity later. Okay, guys, I found the issue that was present. So uh, when we are producing message, we need all we need an exchange defined. And uh, when we are consuming, we need the exchange and the queue. So yeah, uh, all the others stay the same. So let's run the program. Okay, so we have trying to send some message. This body message sent and received body was this. So let's go to the rabbit and queue and see the okay so we had a spike in the message here okay 
an exchange. We had one message and one gun. Received and gun. So yeah. Received and gun. So yeah, that's it. This will be the the simplest example about RabbitMQ. We'll talk a little bit more in the, some of the next videos. So thanks for sticking around for this video and uh, please share, like and subscribe. Uh, ring the bell if you want and uh, see you next uh, Tuesday. Bye bye.